Who am I? Luigi asks his mother Maria. I'm Luigi, he reminds her. It's all a little overwhelming. With the mask is difficult, and the plastic barrier. She has difficulty recognizing who it is, but at least she did recognize me after a few minutes. This is the first so-called hug bubble in southern Italy. Plastic divides them, and yet it's the closest they've been able to get to each other in almost a year. A simple touch, once taken for granted, is now everything. In between family visits, everything gets sanitized. A new reality that's still hard to get used to. This structure gets moved around these villages to the homes for the elderly. There are four with around 200 residents. And this is so everyone gets a chance to hold and to feel and to somehow still physically touch their loved ones. Something that's been so terribly missed during this pandemic. Father and daughter kiss for only the second time in a year. It will pass, she tells him. Everything passes. Didn't the war pass too? These are emotional moments. It's been a long, lonely year for many. Italy has the second highest elderly population in the world and one of the highest coronavirus death tolls in Europe at more than 80,000 so far. It's also a culture of large family gatherings, with grandparents often at the very center. My dream is to hug all my relatives again, to have company, to see happiness, for us all to be together. Vaccination campaign is underway with the elderly due to be inoculated after health workers. And those involved in this hug bubble project in the villages outside of Naples say it started just a few days before Christmas and believe it will have to remain in place for a while longer. The vaccine isn't a magic potion and you are not immediately immune. And so we will still have weeks, probably months ahead of us, in which we will need to maintain all of these protective measures. And so this room will continue to be an opportunity for relatives to be able to get close to their loved ones. Touch, even through plastic, has become so very precious these days. I want to go home, Maria pleads with her son. He tells her not to cry. This pandemic has made the pain of loneliness even worse. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Avellino, in southern Italy.